Can I talk to this guy? Tethers with the FBI. Sir, you seem stressed. You know something about the factory you'd like to let me in on? Do you have a puzzle that you need help solving? I don't know anything. Sir, it's against the law to withhold information or lie to a federal agent. Yeah, I'm into some stuff. Oh, you got me. So what's Oof, you really worked me over there. Steve. Sir, I'm here about the factory. Steve, I think that's you a fake name. To do with it. Then, however you spend your time doesn't concern me. There's nothing you can tell me about the factory. I don't co-mingle with the factory folk. Woo! You haven't heard about anything suspicious going on, have you? I'm just trying to eat my soup, bub. What stuff are you into? Oh, you know, rubbing honey all over my nipples and letting the bees lick them. With birds. To where? Why? Wait, did he steal the gnome from the hotel? Big money. Couldn't you just use the mail? Why are you trying to help here, Nathan Tethers? Loner Steve trains birds to transport freight. Tonight's shipment just departed, but Steve forgot to note the quantity. Can you determine the number of gnomes? Why are we helping with his black market theft? Each type of bird has a certain weight limit. Each bird shown is carrying the maximum it can. Birds may team up on heavy loads, each carrying what he can. Freight must be balanced evenly between a bird's two legs. Okay. So what is the weight of the freight? So like... Okay, so one of these birds can carry two. So this bird then is what, carrying one and one? Because it has to be evenly distributed. So this, this package is one. This package is one and you're carrying two so it's carrying two and two and two and two and one and one so each of these birds can carry two each of these birds can carry four therefore we have two four six ten fourteen Yeah, I can do math puzzles. Those word logic ones, man, they take me they take me a long time to figure out. Another puzzle solved. Hooza! Is that it? Are we done with Steve? How are you doing, Steve? Ooh, now we got more. Out of curiosity, anything else you want to tell me about these birds? They're smart. I once saw a black bellied whistling duck open a car door and steal a cream cheese Danish. Wow. Here come his avian mail crows. Draw lines to attach freight to bird legs, keeping in mind the rules. A mallard can carry two gnomes per leg. Okay, so we already know about the mallard and the bluebird. So we know it's so now we know an owl can do three. Birds may team up. Freight must be balanced. Lines can't cross. That's a new rule. Okay, so. We do two, and two, two, one, duh, one, wait, wait, no, undo. Undo! Undo the line! Come on, game! 
Un How do I cross it off? God. Two. Two. Three. Four. Five. Got the one. So those are all taken care of. This has got two. Two. And three. Evenly balanced. Very easy. Now I gotta talk to everyone else again. Is there more puzzles? I got two puzzles here from from Steve here. Am I gonna get a second bug puzzle from the Daryls? Well, that wasn't so hard. Is there a third puzzle from Steve? How are you doing, Steve? No, no, there is not. See you, Steve. Bye, Steve. No, nope, no more there. Thanks, gentlemen. Anytime. Darn. Anything Can more I from have Glory? A more of your time, ma'am. Sure. No, nope, nothing more there. Let's let's talk to the sure. the copper. Aiden Tethers, good. You're here. Yeah. Listen, I wanted to ask you. No time. I got a hunch about the fact. Ooh, hot tip. Security camera records here of people leaving the factory. Good. It'd be helpful to talk with whoever left last. Exactly what I was thinking. I mixed up the photos so we can put them back in the right order. Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> you know how it is. No, I don't. That's evidence. <laughs> me, me and Nathan, man, we're on the same page here. Rearrange Sheriff Boggs' photos to show the order in which the factory workers left. All right, now you're just making work here. Okay, so this is, this is clearly one. I think this is two. This is three. Yeah, because if this was two, or if this was two, then that line there would appear in that one. So that's 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 an easy one. This should clear things up. Yeah, yeah, that seems about right. Looks like the last one out was uh -oh. the lob. You think he might have had the lobster the accident? Probably. Why don't you head out to the ice fishing huts on Lake Spence? When he's not working, he's usually there trying to dead stick a lunker. God. What's a lunker? No, wait. Do what to a what? Catch some fish. He's got himself a bright orange vest. Can't miss him. Anyway, to get there, you can take the snowmobile out to Sesame Woods. But you'll have to hoof it from there. Uh, what do you know about Glory Daphner? Foreman's wife. Poor girl, she's a sweet kid. Her family has lived in this town for generations. Maybe she has something to do with the accident. That's ridiculous. It could is it? Be an insurance. Now you just leave poor Glory alone. She's having a hard enough time without you getting all accusatory. What was the name of the factory worker I'm looking for? The last guy leave the factory was Mike Lobb. Why did I need to next that? Come on, I know this. Trail out to the ice fishing hut. Yeah, I got that. Is there anything I should know about the Sesame Woods? Well, they've got the odd wolverine in them. Ooh, what? baby. Well, they're probably hibernating or migrating or the like. I better get back to it. You betcha. How are we doing on the puzzles? 14 out of, what do we say, like 37, 36? Yes. We already know about the tobacco. 
Alright. I think that's it. They're gonna catch flies? Is that what it's doing? Ooh, is that a gnome? Oh god, it's an evil gnome. Um... Right. The snow must be playing tricks on my eyes. For a second, I thought I saw... It doesn't matter. Ugh. I'm on my way to question Mike Lobb at the ice fishing huts. But to get there, I have to go through Sassamy Woods. That doesn't sound dangerous at all. I don't think I need my keyboard. Just been using- I want to go back to using the controller. But that was- it didn't work well before. Let's see if I can do it now. Is there anything worth- No, just- just this. We're- we're done. Sassamy Woods. Uh oh, is he frozen to death? Probably a puzzle. Hello? The lobster. I think I found Mike Lobb. Man. Late 30s. Looks like he froze to death, trying to solve some sort of problem. I'm gonna have a look. Yeah, let's solve his death puzzle. Was Mike Lobb following Isaac? Rotate tiles to chart a path from Mike Lobb to the ice fishing hut. But beware, lest the path intersect with one upon which a shadowy figure lurks. Okay. So we want to. So let's work backwards on this. But we don't want to intersect with one of these goobers. Can we rotate them also? Alright, we can. Oh, so we gotta put him down there, and then we can go this way. No, we don't want to intersect with this goober. Although, we can go... Can we go this way? Because it doesn't actually... Because it dies off? I, like, I don't... I don't know. Does that... Does this not connect? Is that fine? I think so. I think this should be fine. See, but this is going to connect with, with that goober. So we need to cut that goober off. This goober is cut off. And we have our path. We have our path from here down to here. But we also we need to make sure we cut that goober off. Is there any path that this guy can connect in? Those guys are completely cut off. This... No, all right, that guy's connected. So, all right, now that that guy is not now where he's not connected, he's not connected. Let's just let's do that. He's not connected. That should be good. I think I think that'll be good. Play, playing with the controller is too hard. It's the sensitivity is all weird. It just it's so much easier with the keyboard with the mouse. I think I think that'll work. Nice. Would have been nice if they actually, like, showed him walking and going through the, the thing. Like the snowmobile puzzle at the beginning of the game. Aha! No puzzle's gonna stop me in my tracks. No, ho, ho, not today. Oh, he, this guy's sorry. still still dead, I, though. I didn't mean... Oh, he's not dead. He's, like, almost dead. Got some mean, some mean frostbite. Take him. 
lock m must not. The lock on the factory door. Key. Ta da! Thanks, thanks, lobster. And now he's dead. What is this thing? I think I found something important in the hands of a dead lobster. That's hot. I'm going to hold on to it for later. Let's go. Are we so? Oh, we still going to Lake Sven's? The ice fishing huts is just past the clearing. Let's check it out. Nice. Nice. There seems to have this affliction. AKA, are there any more bodies? Ooh, there's something else here to investigate. Found Isaac Davner's ID badge. Looks like he came this way sometime before the accident. Why was or the after Mike Lobb out here as well? I like how it just tells me that the gum is here. Wait. What was the set? Why was that making that sound? Is that the is that the ID again? Yeah, oh uh, crap. No. What? All right, let's go to Lake Sven's. Oh, hey there, repair guy. All right, let's talk to him. Mr. Scrathman. You following me, boy? No, mm -hmm. sir. You look like a lost puppy. Go home, puppy. Uh, I can't leave until I get that factory back open. I have a few more questions for you. Of course you do. Is this your hut? It's nice. Nope. Oh. Well, what are you doing then? Fixing stuff. That's my job. Lots of stuff getting broke lately. Things get broken on these huts a lot? Everything gets broken a lot. Keeps me busy. Hmm. Don't get any ideas. I just do my job. Do you? Do you just do your job? I understand you have a, a thing for Mrs. Davner. Really cut into the chase there. Oh, sir. Just think she's pretty. I expect you do as well. Where were you on the night of the accident? Busy. You accusing me of something? I'm just asking. I I it's think I think so, yes. I was working at the hotel. Okay, see? That was easy. Where were you on the night of the accident again? Working at the hotel. I'll we'll have to go back and check at the hotel. You had to go through the woods to get here. Didn't you see a guy freezing on a tree stump? Yep. Why didn't you help him? He didn't ask. Best not to interfere with acts of nature. So you just let a guy die out there? Had nothing to do with it. The cold will creep right up on you. Dude, this guy's intense. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Mr. Scruffman claims he was working the night of the accident. I'm headed over to the hotel to check out his story now. No, no, I'm not. I want to look at more stuff here. Ooh, shark bait. Found some freshly caught fish out on the lake. Looks like something has started eating them before they've been cooked. Evil gnomes. It's probably it was probably the evil gnomes. Oh, that's what the sound was. Anything else out here? All right. Bye, Mike. More gum? Gum everywhere, man. And all the gum. 
Delicious. I want to go to the factory, though. I don't want to go to the hotel. Can I go to the... Go to the factory? Ah, uh, it wants me to go to the inn, but I have the thing. I want to go to the factory. That's weird. This gear is too small. Really? That's weird. The gear that we have is too small of all the things. All right, so apparently I have to go to the hotel. You're just really just forcing me into that, aren't you? I didn't I didn't want to do that. I didn't realize this game was going to be super linear. It's annoying. The gear wasn't the right gear. Come on. It's a stretch. Hello again, Mr. Bjorn. Yeah. Help help me out here, Bjorn. Do you know Randall Scruffman? I do. He's a good man. Good stuff. Despite his stock, you think he could have had anything to do with the accident at the factory? Why don't you just let things run their course? Accidents happen, Mr. Tethers. So, Randall Scruffman. He's a valuable member of this community, and that'll be enough of you trying to say otherwise. Do you think Glory Dabner's capable of violence? Hmm. <laughs> so, that's a no. Thanks. Thanks, Bjorn. What was that? Oh! Heard a crash and a scream coming from inside the inn. Going inside to see what happened. Dun dun dun! I need backup. What if I wasn't done out there? Is everything okay in here? The pipe on the fireplace! I turned my back on it for one second and boom! Okay, don't panic. I'm sure we can find a way to fix it. Rotate tiles! Again. Nice. Reconstruct the wood stove's flue before the lobby fills with smoke. The stovepipe may split, but all sections must rejoin on the way to the chimney. Whoa! Gnome! Gnome! Oh god! Evil gnome. What was that? Hurry, it's getting away. Saw a thing. It stole some pipe. Going after it. Ah! Ah! This game's weird. Checking out. Oh my, but. What about my furnace? You're all done? Yes, ma'am. I'll be calling in the FBI's gnome squad. Or the National Guard, or, or, or the... Someone better equipped to handle your situation. Oh, I see. Guess I'll be needing to call the sheriff then and let him know. Excuse me? Yeah, the sheriff told me to give him a buzz the moment you left town. Why would the sheriff assume I was leaving so soon? Oh, I couldn't say. So, will that be on a credit card, or should I just send the bill to Uncle Sam? What is Sheriff Bog hiding? And that lock, it's on the outside of the door. On second thought, I better stick around, see this through. Oh, great. Hot dish all around. Oh, some hot dish. The sheriff wants me out of town. And what is the deal with that gear I found on Mike Lobb? Can I get the piece of furnace back there, uh, crazy to see a Waldo? Man about a furnace pipe. Really? That's the line that we're going with? Let's pick up some gum. What was that thing? What happened? Did it try to eat your ear? If two rows are white, and rotations affect orientation, then, then... Huh? Since Bo's brain got scrambled, all inputs end up in the pit of perplexity. Drag and drop arrows into all empty slots to redirect his stream of thought to the light of lucidity. This makes no sense. 
really? Drag arrows from the menu to each of the highlighted spaces. Your mission is to direct Bo's thoughts from Nelson up to the light bulb. Stream of thought will move in the direction of any arrow it hits. A brain tube will cause the stream of thought to bounce off at a right angle. When you think you have arranged correctly, press submit. Uh, so we only have left and right. Can't do any up or down movement. All right, so again, let's let's work backwards on this. We could go from here up. So if we could get something that goes but I don't have anything to go to go So this, this has to start off here, and it goes to here. So we're going to want to go here, because if we go here, it's going to go up, and then it's just going to get stuck in a loop. So it's going to go from here to here, in here, up here, here to here to here. To here, and it's going to go to here, and then we want it to go here, here to here to here to here to there. Hello. So it can't overlap, it can only pass through, it can't go through both ends of this. Because I had it go up and over, but then down and back. So that's annoying. Nowhere does it say that in the rules, by the way. Drag arrows, stream of arrows will move in the direction. Brain team will cause the stream of thought to bounce off at a right angle. Nowhere does it say that it can't pass through both ends of the brain tube. Both sections. Does not say that in the rules. So this, this is now both times that I've gotten a puzzle wrong. It's because the rules didn't mention something that needed to be mentioned. So that's super dumb. This is, this is really silly. Okay, so instead of going that way, it needs to go this way. Because then it'll go here, here, it'll go to here, down there, to here, and up. So no, so it can't do that. Or, like, does it need to have an arrow there? Coming out of it? Is that what was wrong? 
Like I don't I don't know if it's because they overlapped or because it came out of it and there was no arrow there and there had to be an arrow there. Which again, does it say that? Each I guess it does say to each of the highlighted spaces. So maybe that was actually what I had wrong. And, uh, all right, how about, let's try it now. That's, that's what I had wrong. That's silly. That's, that's really silly. Literally, I, I didn't need an arrow because it was already going that direction. That's, that's really dumb. I, I had it correct. was a very interesting puzzle, but... The whispers of the moon crashed too loudly. The whispers what? Clear the path. Ooh, another gear. Another gear. Hmm. Anything else? All right, let's solve the furnace puzzle. I got your pipe back. Let's finish putting this back together. All right, reconstruct the flue before the lobby fills with sto smoke. The stove pipe may split, but all sections must rejoin on the way to the chimney. very confused about this. So... Alright, so this... So that... Can't be... Could be this. That doesn't fit. Okay. No, this doesn't fit. No, that can't be right. That would be a section going off. Okay, so this this can't be the correct path. I think it's gotta be this, then. This, this. Huh. So, I mean, this doesn't work. This would not go to the proper way. Can't go that, can't be that one. Can't be that one. Can't be this one because this doesn't fit anywhere else besides this. And then this gets cut off here. Nothing else connects this properly. So, so it has to be this formation. Why doesn't this line up properly? And none of these fit. Okay. 
about that? I really dislike that these don't align correctly. Like, this lines up perfectly. This does not. Of course, this doesn't work at all. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. This is this is working. So if that doesn't work, how about this? This all looks like it's working nicely. Okay, this is coming together. Alright, I think everything's put together. Do -do, -do, do 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 it splits off and everything links together. Lovely. I was really worried that that was gonna be like a time limit before the room filled with smoke, so you actually like had urgency behind that, but but it doesn't. So that was that's good. Ooh, there's more gum. Thank you. Can I ask you something? Of course. You seem relatively coherent. Do people ever talk about seeing um little people in pointy hats? Oh, the hidden people. Yeah, it's an old Nordic superstition. My grandfather used to tell me stories. They say they live among us, in the ground, trees, rocks. But I just know the ones that live in my window. Was Mr. Scruffman working here on the night of the accident? Ah, the fence outside was a terrible mess. Oh yeah. Some kids were trying to rip it down or something. Did it take him long to fix? Oh yeah, all night. If you're still looking for suspects, I'd start looking at that Bjorn fella. But you didn't hear that from me. Can you tell me anything more about the hidden people? The oh, hidden yeah. people. Tourists love the stories, but Bjorn and his friends take them very seriously. Oh? Oh, yeah, they don't like the decorative gnomes in my window. Uh, is there anything more out here? Probably not, but let's just check. Anything new with this guy? Or not. No. Alright. Alright, let's talk to Bjorn again about the hidden people. I know that's what we're gonna do next. Well, Mr. Scruffman's alibi checks out. My glob is dead, and I just saw living garden gnomes. I think I'm gonna head back to the diner and have a chat with Sheriff Bog. Wait, what happened to Bjorn? Ooh. Help wanted. Side puzzle. The varsity muskrats got after school jobs at Hank's window shop but they can't skip football practice. Help them complete a pass without breaking any glass. Can I rotate? I'm very confused about what we're supposed to be doing here.
Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? This is very confusing and dumb. I'm very confused. Is this supposed to be just like one line? Is this, is this it? Is this the thing? Do, 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 do? Because these guys can't complete a pass to finish the loop. This is the only person, these are the only people this guy can throw to. I think so? I, 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 I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Okay, apparently that was what we were supposed to do. Takes care of that one. Is there any more? Anything over here? Side puzzles. How are we doing on the puzzles? 18. Six, seven. There's 14 more that way. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we're over, we're like halfway. We got 18 out of 37, so it's just under halfway. Going back to talk to Sheriff Bog at the diner. We got a bunch of other places to open up too. I saw those before, after I first saw the gnome. There then, seems to be some tiny footprints in the snow around the diner. But I don't see any kids around here. Possibilities include stealthy children, tiny animals, and gnomes. Cats wearing shoes? Nice, Nelson. Now that's going in FBI records. And I'm still recording. Tether's out. Can we follow it? No, that's it. No more. We can't do any more. All right. Is it gonna be like locked? Oh. What's up with the chairs? Those chairs weren't here before, were they? Nope. One of them Nordic guys brought them in right after I ordered my pie. Pie that I'm still waiting for. Hmm. Something odd about them. Something spray painted on this stack of Escher chairs. Arrange them to discover a secret image. It's gonna. Is it a gnome? It's gonna be a, a damn gnome, isn't it? Or is it a pickle? Pickle moon? Is it is it a pickle moon? There was something about a pickle moon, I think. This looks right. Mm. What? Is this upside down? 
This is upside down, isn't it? How is this not right, by the way? I... I literally can't figure out why, how this is not correct. Is it because the whole thing is upside down? Is that... Literally what it's gonna be. It is, isn't it? The whole thing was upside down. This is what it's supposed to be. That's... that's dumb. That's so dumb. you just made that's the symbol those lodge guys use really interesting what do you guys know about bjorn oh, you mean the old hippie who spies on people out by the hotel he's one of those old nordic guys who hangs out at the lodge brothers of scoggins or something like that brothers and weirdos if you ask me lodge huh i'll check it out hello again Dick. Ooh, is there more bugs I don't see the. Did she go somewhere? That's a good quest. I ordered some key. Okay. Th My cousin's neighbor saw one once. Oh, not this again. He swears they're real. So do those Nordic tree huggers, but that doesn't make it so. So the hidden people are just a bunch of make believe then? Yep. Not according to my cousin's neighbor. <laughs> you two have any more bugs you need boxed? Actually, yeah, that sounds like fun. Let's box up some more bugs. Oh, yeah? Seriously? I was joking. Let's get to it. Go loose again, connect the points in the box, back. Close all the bugs, fewest lines, be four sided. Bug saves, share a box. It's three, needs two. All right, it's the same rules. That's got to be there. Uh. Two, three, four, six, seven. I mean, this guy can't actually, so I mean, these guys could be here. This could be here. Be here. How about that.
Lovely. Another puzzle solved. Hello again, Derek. More bugs. Let's try to box those bugs again. Let's get to it. Super bugs in boxes. Okay. That doesn't work. What about... about that. Alright, we've done three freaking bug box puzzles. Done. That wasn't so bad. Are we all out? Alright, we're finally done with bug puzzles. How are you doing? Are there any more Steve? Bird. Do you know anything about hidden people? Collectors will pay a tidy sum for a wooden one. But you don't believe in them, do you? Do I seem crazy to you? How's business? Who wants to know? I'm just making conversation. Oh. Well, maybe you can help me figure something out then. It's been driving me crazy. Need your help to attach bags to birds. Don't forget the rules. Two, one and a half, one, carrying something, carrying something is carrying its maximum. Oh, all right, so birds may team up to balance, lines not cross, but not every bird has to carry something, I think is. Well, let's, let's first do the math here. And we have two. Four, six, nine, and eight. We have seventeen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we only have fifteen that we're carrying. So one of these doesn't isn't needed. We have this guy to this. He's carrying three out of five. Four. Five. This guy's carrying this. Two. Two, but then we need a bird to go one and one. 
The rules say they can't cross. Lines cannot cross or the shipment will become tangled. No possible way. Now it's crossing. Okay, I can't can't do it because it's crossing. Or is it right? The owl and it's one and a half, right? Right. So if the owl is one and a half, can't like, because then it would leave two and a half. There's no way that you can get two and a half. That's five. It's four. But there's no way that, because the, uh, they have to cross. I'm very confused. It's not like the owl can come across and take the three somehow. Then it's gonna cross with something else. I mean, 
It doesn't say that it's... What if we just do it that? I mean, it's evenly distributed between their legs. That's gonna be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's no way. It's crossing everything. How about this? Oh, that was dumb. I should have gotten that earlier. That's the first one that's truly my own fault. Well, that takes care of that one. How are you doing, Steve? See you, Steve. I checked up on the repairman. He was working at the hotel on the night of the accident. Alibi checked out, huh? He's in the clear. He couldn't have been involved. Have you looked into Bjorn and his friends? He seems to be an avid environmentalist. Perhaps the accident is a political statement. Nah. Bjorn's always been a major part of this community. Since even before my badge was pinning up my diapers. You wore a sheriff's badge on your diapers? This is a community that celebrates its Nordic heritage, Agent Tethers. Ooh. Not one that advocates violence. Have you looked in I hit the wrong button. You this is a not Hidden People. Have you heard about this hidden people superstition? Hidden people? <laughs> yeah, don't be silly. You had me going there, Tethers. A government agent investigating elves and hippie legends. <laughs> uh, yeah, how'd you go in there? Well, sounds like you have had a busy day. Let's wrap it up for today and start fresh tomorrow. But you haven't really done anything. And we're no closer to getting that factory up and running. Agent Tethers, I'm not from the big city. Around here, we take our time. Keep our heads clear. Yeah, as slow as and tell, steady, my friend. heads are filled with puzzles. Puzzles are a way to keep yourself from asking questions you don't want answers to. What does that mean? It means, I'll see you in the morning, Agent Tethers. Up to 22. We got 15, 15 puzzles left. Anything new with the tobacco? There's some tobacco on the counter. It smells like cherry. I guess the waitress hasn't been in much of a cleaning mood lately. More elves? 
Bjorn is starting to look more and more suspicious. I just got a tip that he holds secret meetings in a local lodge. I remember seeing something about a lodge on my Skagen's map. I wonder if it's the same one. We do anything? We go. Nope. Oh, gum though. Lodge. 